I would like to wrap up this presentation or this topic by giving you uh, two extra tips. So first bonus tip is about self-reflection. So what is the purpose of doing self-reflection? So first, I like to basically summarize my own work experience, basically based on the experience time, whether it could be uh, work or volunteer or extracurricular activity, doesn't really matter. So why, are you, why am I interested in doing this? So first, it's about discovering my uh, own stra strategic fit. So what I mean by that is basically I have a list of work experience that I gained from my past work experience or from the project you worked on. And basically you're trying to find which experience would strategically fit to the requirement that you're applying for the job or the posting. And the second thing is basically it enables you to do a self-assessment on your work experience. Like basically you can filter out the relevant experience that could actually fit well into the job requirement or the job posting that you're applying for. And third, basically you're able to match the, uh, your experience to the role requirement as the company or the employer specify in their job posting. So basically my final advice will be that uh, list out the, uh, your work experience in the chronological order. Second, categorize and group your experience based on the duties or the task that you accomplish in the past. And uh, third will be basically state out the uh, end outcome or the, the achievement or the result based on your work experience. So on your right hand side, basically I prepare a sample self-reflection of the my personal own experience. So basically for this project, we, I was able, I was actually, the main goal was to deliver an executed executive summary report for the XYZ company's board of directors. And then for this project, we have some business objective, basically what is the total number of healthcare claim we receive? What is the total expenditure for five year period? How, how or what is the regional breakdown of the providers, the injured workers across the Ontario, etc. And then the finer thing that I like to highlight here, I had a finer summary section of the experience based on the uh, job category or duties that I completed. So say, for example, you can see here that first is business analysis, basically gathering, working with your client to gather the requirement. What are the key performance metrics they wanted to get reported on? Second, I did perform some data profiling on basically by writing some sample uh, data extraction query to pull the data and then from there, once the query is ready, I was able to do the full analysis and then basically come up with the metrics. And then I write out some ETL programming to further break down, further conduct the analysis and design the mock-up for the reporting using different data visualization tool. And finally, some performing some data validation, whether the data accuracy or compliance, basically doing some assessment. 